What a catch is inviting people to come on a fishing trip with me. That's what I do. I'm, I'm a professional fisher. I fish around the world. I chase big game fish. It could be an Atlantic salmon, timon. It could be a big sailfish. You never know from week to week. So I, I want people to travel along with me and experience the culture and the food. And I go off to these remote places and you get the feeling that no one else has ever walked where you're walking. And you get to fish in pristine wilderness. What a catch. Hello? Good morning, Stan. It's Catherine. How are you, Catherine? Good. What's the weather like there today? Well, it's right nice and sunny right now. Now, Stan, tell me this. Where are you going fishing this season? Well, we're going to Canada, and we're going to, uh, let's see, uh, Scotland, and we're going to Norway, and then back to Canada again. And so actually, we're going to be gone for well, roughly two months. In the, in the whole summer. Wow. Why don't you and your Bogdan come fishing with me on the Kedgewick? Well, I'd love that very, very much. I haven't been there for 30 some odd years, and uh, I never thought I'd ever get back to it. This will be wonderful. Thank you. All right, well, get your bag packed and uh, <laughs> haul out your salmon flies. That's a date. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, talk to you soon, Stan. Bye now. Bye. I counted down the days until our trip. Stan was the first to arrive. When we drove up, he was standing on the front porch where we put our waiters on. He was sporting a big smile and his favorite beige sweater. He had his hat in hand when he hugged me hello. Typical Stan, first thing out of his mouth was, when are we going fishing? Let's go, I told him. We suited up and we were on our way. As usual, Stan looked like he had just stepped out of an oil painting. That's what it's like fishing with a legend. Stan, where did you get your hat? <laughs> Actually, uh, it was given to me by uh, a woman angler. Really? Yep. What's with you and the women? Well, uh, well I mean, she just happened to give me a hat, that's all. Ah. The conditions were perfect, and it wouldn't be long before Stan hooked into a nice one. The symphony by Bogdan rang through the valley. Music to my ears. The smile on your uh, face, Stan me, Bogdan. That, that's not put on either. You're talking to a very happy, happy guy. <laughs> what fly did he take? An undertaker. Oh, don't you have a friend that invented the Undertaker? Well, yeah. As we fished our way downriver, Stanley shared with me a letter that he had written to his son a long, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go out and get his big brother now. Let's see the fly that you used. Oh, here's the uh, Undertaker right here. That's a great so. fly. So, Stan, what do you say when you catch a fish? I, I, well, let, let's see. What do I what a catch. Oh, what a catch. <laughs> he talked about people, good friends, that he loved but are now gone. He's had to say far too many goodbyes. I asked him to help me learn how to deal with such things. He simply said, you just do. You have to. I hope someday, when the war and the circumstances permit, that my son, wife, and myself can go to New Brunswick and fish for Atlantic salmon. I don't know if my son will ever grow up to be a fisherman or not. I hope so. If he does, he will get a clear picture of the fine and most beautiful things in life. In God's outdoors, they are all there for the taking. He is just a month old now, but I dream of the day when he catches his first trout. I hope I'm with him when he does. If he ever gets bit by the fishing bug, it will cost him much in time and money. But if it's but it's worth it. 
At least I have found it so.